Hello, um, I just wanted to showcase a something I've been working on. So we'll start by showing what it does, and then I'll go through kind of how it works. So this is my little centipede. Um, the model was actually built by uh, Subdued Vermillion in the chat. Um, and it's sort of like a little case study in uh, some nice procedural animation work that I've been trying to, trying to work on lately. Because, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cute, but I'll go through how it works shortly. But one of the advantages of it as well is you can just stop it and it kind of just stops moving, which is nice. But yeah, um, this is probably not going to be player controlled. This is probably going to be an enemy, AI enemy, um, which is kind of horrifying. I'm hoping you can crawl up walls and things, but for now this is just what we got. Um, but yeah, let's go into how it works. So first off, the actual blueprint is a pretty standard character control for starters. All I did was I followed a tutorial that um, rendered a bunch of boxes following uh, the character. I'll link that down in the description of the video. But um, this does the same thing. I didn't know how to, like, it could be optimized better, but I just I just duplicated that and then emptied the mesh field. So it's just a set of transforms. Uh, and I'm using those transforms to give me locations. And those locations are going into this little array, which is then being called by the animation blueprint. And each of the elements of that array, which used to represent locations of the boxes following the leader, now tell one of the spine joints where it needs to be which means that I can get something that was originally designed for making multiple instances follow something and just get it to make the centipede spine uh, all follow the leader in that sort of serpentine way that you associate with uh, centipedes and snakes. So that's the first thing I did. Second thing I did was this, the animation here is actually applied additively, which means we can still get that nice signing. Uh, sorry, we can get that nice follow the leader sort of, sort of follow the leader sort of look while this is still running, which helps a lot. And lastly, most importantly, oh, just actually not most importantly, it's just something I threw in because I like it. I threw in this little bit of a wobble. I did this really basic sort of hacks version of a sine wave because I don't know how to program properly, um, which just uh, makes a value bobble between uh, 0.1 and negative 0.1 whenever the lerp locations is being updated, so whenever it's moving forward, um, and then applied that as an as a local offset to uh, the end x position of each of the joints, which is what gives it that distinctive little wiggle. And then when you combine all of those together, you end up with a pretty simple animation, which gives you all of this stuff. Neat, eh? 